All right, ladies. So we're going to go through the paper one today. Um, I'm asking somebody to volunteer to read question one to five for me, please. Sir, I'll read it. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead for me. Number one. Wait. Use the map above to answer items one to three. Number one, which country is identified by the letter T? Anybody remember? T was right here. Dominican Republic. So the answer is B, Dominican Republic. Yes. Number two. What does the letter Z represent? All right, Z was circled here. All of these groups of islands right here. Is it the Greater Antilles, Lesser Antilles, Windward Islands, or Leeward Islands? Is it the Windward Islands? Correct, C, the Windward Islands. Number Name the chain of islands which is located entirely in the area labeled Y. I think that one was the Bahamas answer. Right here was Y. So the answer is the Bahamas, correct, which is B. Four. The four, the four distinct areas of the Caribbean are. Hold on. Sir, should I read out the options or? Which one you select? Which one you think is the answer? Sir, is it boy, the Lesser Antilles, the Greater Antilles, the Mainland Territories, and yeah. the others? Let's see. Yes, the answer is B, as in boy. All right, number five. The Lesser Antilles comprises Which one is the answer, ladies? A. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Apple. All right. Yes, so if uh is this uh these groups of islands are the only islands a part of the Lesser Antilles? No, Windward sir. and Windward. No, no, sir. You also have the Netherlands Antilles. Very good. All right. May I have a volunteer for six to ten? Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. was that thousand? Thousand. Uh, you did one to five, correct? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Six to ten. I can do it, sir. Go ahead for me. The island immediately north of Jamaica is Cuba. B. Yes. Which Caribbean country is nearest to the U.S. mainland? That will be Belize. No, I think it's the Bahamas. The Bahamas. Yes, sir. All right. One second. Let us go up to the map. So Belize is right here. The Bahamas is here. Uh, Bermuda is along here, Antigua and Barbuda. And Barbuda is somewhere here. And Barbados is here. A lot of bees. So Barbados, Bermuda, Antigua and Bermuda, not Bermuda, Barbuda, Antigua and Barbuda. So Barbuda is somewhere here. So Barbados, Barbuda, Bahamas, and way up top here is Bermuda, and Belize is over here. All right. And the next thing I want to point out is that this is the Dominican Republic, which is here, and Dominica is located right here, two different territories. All right. Where are we now? Seven? Yes, sir. All right. So, seven, the answer is. We choose the answer for seven. Which Caribbean country is nearest to the U.S. mainland? Which one is it? Is it? C, sir. Bahamas. C, the Bahamas. Good. 
it which is not a mainland caribbean territory colombia very good nine which of the following groups contain islands which are not located in the caribbean sea um not that one the bahamas bermuda turks and caicos d and they are located where um in atlantic ocean the atlantic ocean where is bermuda located so you said somewhere above the bahamas yes let us show you um, somewhere let us go to bermuda it's a nice place They have a lot of they are British territory also. They are really not in the Caribbean, you know, but people sometimes consider them to be in the Caribbean just by association. But not I we don't really consider Bermuda to be part of the Caribbean. Let us show you a brand. So this is Bermuda right here. It come up on the screen. Good, yeah. So Bermuda is very different. Give, give the computer a little time. So. All right, so Bermuda is right here. This is where Bermuda is. 14. They are all by themselves in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So Bermuda is right here. My goodness. That must be scary, especially during a hurricane. To be out in the sea all by yourself. So that's where Bermuda is located. All right. Yes, Let's go back. And then a lot of people always mix up Bermuda with Barbuda. So it's Antigua and Barbuda and Bermuda is different. Very different places. Two different places. Good. All right, so we are we are now at question 10. Yes, sir. CARICOM and government systems relates to the blank definition of the Caribbean political. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Hunter. 11 to 15, may I have a volunteer, please? I'll read those, sir. Thank you very much. Go ahead for me. Which Amerindian group settled in Central America in pre-Columbian times? That would be the Maya, A. Uh, all right, correct. Well, uh, chief, chief of the Tainos was known as the Cacique, C. Correct. 13. In which three Caribbean territories are there still a significant number of indigenous people today? That one is, uh, oh. Which one? 13. Sir, oh, right. Uh, sir, is it is it C? Yes, you are correct. Dominica, so, Guyana, and Belize. Yes. So we have which group of people live in Dominica class? Which indigenous people live in Dominica? I'm guessing the Kalinagos. The Kalinagos still live in Dominica today. 
in Guyana? The Carifunas? Uh, no. The, the Kalinagas also? They, they actually call themselves the Amerindian, but they are direct descent. Well, the origin, the group of people that live in Guy in we call that area. In Guyana, they are the not the descendants. Well, that's where the Tainos and the Kalinagos, some of them would have originated from. All right? So Guyana also has indigenous people. We have not looked at that specific group of indigenous people studying, but they also have indigenous people. And recently in, recently in, uh, we call it now, recently in, Daman, in Guyana, in the election, they had the chief of one of the indigenous groups. Living, in, well, I was represented in our, is now a member of their parliament. Let us look for it. It was, yeah, that's where I saw it. In the, in Loop, Jamaica, where it is, yeah. So this is in Ghana, where it's, it said that the Ga Ghana creates history with first indigenous deputy speaker. So the deputy speaker for the house, the National Assembly in Ghana, this is how we dress, and this is how they still dress today in Ghana, right? And this is how it goes actually to parliament at the National Assembly. Quite interesting. Our region is very unique. So Ghana still has some groups there and Belize, which two groups in Belize? The Garifuna is one. Yes, and they? Is it Kalanagos? The they? Is it the Mayans or the Incas? The Mayans. The Mayans are very popular in Belize also. Their descendants are still there. So C is the answer. 14, go ahead for me, Elia. The practice of using indigenous labor in the Caribbean in exchange for conversion to Christianity is referred to as encomienda, C. Very good. 15. The term culture may be best defined as the way of life of a people, artistic and literary creations, norms and values, D. Good answers, D. Thank you very much, Elliot. May I have a volunteer 16 to 20? I can go, sir. Go ahead for me, please. Which system of production was used by the Amerindians slash and burn agriculture? Good. C is the answer, 17. Slaves from West Africa were first introduced to the Caribbean to work on Spanish tobacco estates. All right, A. So remember, ladies, I just want to reinforce that the, uh, the indigenous peoples, most of them were used to mine for gold and other precious minerals. When the Spanish came, then after that, they went into tobacco production and they use a small number of Africans, uh, not a large number, just a small number of Africans. And also they use whites to work on the tobacco estates, especially in the British, the English speaking colonies. And they 
once sugar became a main crop in the Caribbean, then you're going to have the mass influx of Caribbean, of Africans into the Caribbean. So it's not that Africans came when they introduced sugar, but uh, the mass influx of African in the region came as a result of the introduction of sugar. And then you have other scholars like Ivan Van Sertima and others. Per, well, Ivan Van Sertima is one uh, who argues that Africans were here long before Christopher Columbus. All right. Some archaeologists. Uh, do not ag and historians they do not agree with Van Sertima, but I believe the evidence is there, and we can't deny it. Uh, Eighteen. Go ahead for me, Jackson. Sir, please. Right. In 1938, the West Indian Royal Commission, the Moine Commission, was set up to investigate labor unrest in the 1930s British West Indies. Good. So the answer is C. Yes, sir. 19. The practice of universal adult suffrage in the Caribbean was first seen in 1944 in Jamaica. Yes, it's in Jamaica. See again. 20. Caribbean nationals who live in New York and continue to practice Caribbean culture make up the diaspora A. A. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jackson. May I have another volunteer, please? 21 to 25. 21 to 25, ladies. I'll read. Go ahead, Kwame. Um, Identify which of the following territories received the most Asian immigrants. All right. Which one is the answer, class? A. B. A, yes. Grenada also received uh, immigrants, Asian immigrants. I think so, sir, but it was less than Jamaica. Very good. What about C? Why C and D could not be the answer? Because Barbados didn't receive any at all. Very good. Excellent. 22. Which of the following was the leader of the Haitian Revolution? Uh, what's the answer? Fidel Castro. Haitian hey, Reb. Please, sir. Oh, sorry. One person. Sorry. Which one is it? C. I don't see. To San Leverture. You never did history. A hunter. Sir, in grade nine, and we didn't do Haitian hey, Revolution, I oh. think. Good man. All right. So Tucson Leverture is Haiti. Is Haiti. Uh, Fidel Castro is for which country? Cuba. Cuba. Very good. Trevor Manuel. So it's not like a Jamaican man. Jamaican man is always on the media. <laughs> always in the media talking about, what do you call it again? Sir, the corruption, perception. Both corruption. Very good. Very, very good. Why did they put you have a manual here, though? It is so out. They prefer me put maybe like Paul Bogle for this one. But students can easily, well, eliminate A from this. But anyway. So Sam Sharp, is it? Uh, uh, there's one thing I need to point out here, ladies, that I've seen is a, a common mistake right throughout the paper, especially the paper too, is that Sam Sharp or Samuel Sharp also, uh, was an enslaved African and the revolt or the rebellion is also called the Christmas Rebellion or they call it the Sam Sharp Rebellion or the Jamaica 
slavery for of 1831. Now this sum sharp of fourth against slavery in Jamaica, right? So that is some sharp is not directly linked to the independence movement. All right, ladies, not linked to the independence movement. However, however, Paul Bogle, he would have been part of what we call the Morant Bay rebellion and this took place in 1865 after slavery ended all right ladies it is after slavery ended now after slavery ended we have two movements uh, that started what was the first thing it started with f what are the two movements that started after slavery ended Sir, the Marin Bay Rebellion and the 1930s riots. So we have the, those are two rebellions that took place. Yes, but immediately after slavery ended, what the enslaved people did? Sir, they created free villages. They created free villages. And they also were involved in peasantry. So that was after slavery ended, all right? Now, what, were, what was the voting issue? How people could vote during this period? Sir, it depended firstly on skin color, and then secondly on the amount of land that you own. So your, pro your property and your skin color determined if you had franchise. Yes, and also they put on a not immediately after slavery ended, they also included another criteria. The literacy test. The literacy test. Very good. So after, so after slavery ended, people, people started, Black people started to own lands and they started to establish free villages and they started to make money from the peasantry, some Black. And so the, they, what they did was that a lot of enslaved people, well, not enslaved, former enslaved people started to, or free people, the new free black people, uh, they started to own lands. And so they are able now to vote. And so in, once they see people can vote, they put on a literacy test and black started to pass those literacy tests. Now, once Paul Bogle had his revolt, the British used it as an opportunity to abolish the system of voting in the Caribbean. And so they implemented Crown Colony government. They implemented Crown Colony government. And so what that did was that it disenfranchised Blacks. As a result of Blacks being disenfranchised, uh, the Moran Bay Rebellion, one thing it did was that it disenfranchised Blacks, but at the same time, how it is linked to independence is that it, it two things going to take place while it's linked to independence. One, is that Blacks are now going to advocate for their voting rights for it to be restored. And two, they are going to criticize Crown Colony government to say that Crown Colony government basically do not represent their interests. All right? And so that's how you could develop Morant Bay Rebellion as a cause or a process in the independence movement. All right, ladies, please remember this. All right, read this one for me, 23. Who is it, Jackson? Sir, sir Alana. Palmer? Yes, sir. Go ahead, for me, Palmer. 
Service has something to say. Huh? Deidre has something to say. Deidre, you have something? Yes, sir. I have a question about number 17. I'm sorry, sir. Like, number I was thinking 10? about it. Yes, sir. I was thinking about it a while ago. And I was saying, even though the slaves worked on the tobacco estates, wouldn't they also have worked in the mines? The mines? Yes, sir. That's a very good question. One second, please. I, I, it's, it's a good question. <laughs> it's a good question. I think they say it was first introduced. It could be, be could, it's a, this question I think is a flawed question. Looking at it. Because the historical narrative also would say that they work in the mines, but let I go and, well, I investigate this question every year. But the answer that CXE gives is A. All right? Okay, sir, thank you. Yeah. Sir, maybe they should put the majority of the Africans. And then maybe, yes, sir, and then it would be more likely the Spanish tobacco estate. You but they, use, they said first, and oh. it's first they use enough. You see, if they say majority, then it would obviously be B, sugar. Because I think the Spanish were more interested in jewels and like stones than actual like tobacco. That is true because tobacco was largely used in the English, in the, on the English colonies. Are in the English colonies. It is a flawed question. I hope they remove it from the exam, but it has repeat over and over. And the answer that they give is is a. And I think the question is also even in the textbook, the blue textbook. The same question is also there. I agree with you. 23, Parma. Yes, sir, I'm here. The journey of enslaved Africans from West Africa to the Caribbean was called. What was it called? The Middle Passage. Middle Passage, all right. And the Middle Passage is part of the triangular trade. All right, ladies, 24. Which of the following is an example of non-material culture? What's the answer? Norms B. Norms B. Good, good. 25. The constitutional status of Martinique and Guadeloupe can best be described as? Which one is the answer? Is it B? It is? B as in boy? Yes, sir, I agree. Yes, the answer is B as in boy. A is correct, but the best one is that it is part of France. Assimilation, it is part of France. And because France is part of the European Union, then that's the reason uh, why uh, Martinique and Guadeloupe is considered to also be part of the European Union. Thank you very much, Palmer. Uh, 27, 26 to 30. I can Another, read. Go ahead for me, please. Which set of islands make up the Dutch Antilles? Which one? Which one is the answer, class? Boy. Aruba, Bonnet, and Kiraso. Very good, ABC Islands, very nice with the island, very colorful buildings. So, and the Dutch Antilles is also called the? Netherland Antilles. The Netherland Antilles, because what they could do you know, is that next year,
They could change the question to say, which set of islands make up the Netherlands Antilles? And you go and study Dutch Antilles. And you say, oh God, what is Netherlands Antilles? It's the same thing. All right, 27. Which of the following is not a characteristic of Caribbean society? Which one is the answer? Cultural. C. C. C is the answer. And remember, hybridization, diversity, basically, and trialization, basically saying the same thing. Good. 28. I'm not seeing the question. You're not seeing it. No. Okay, I see yeah. it now. Who organized a peaceful protest in December 1831? Samuel Sharp. Sharp, C. C, very good. And next year they could ask you about, ask your question and just change it to 1865 and it would be Paul Bogle. 29. The best reason for describing the Indian immigration scheme as a new system of slavery is repeat with the answer is B as in boy. Correct. The research process is systematic because it the answer is? Is it D? It is conducted in a structured way so that it can be replicated? Yeah, D. D as in dog, correct. 31. Which of the following will not be a purpose of conducting research? Which one is the answer? 31. Wait, I read the wrong thing, sir. I read 32. Which of the following is not essential when referencing research work? The answer is? C. C. C, very good. 32. Which of the following will not be a purpose of conducting research? The answer is? The answer is B, not a purpose. You don't do research to gather data to support the research as bias. All right? That's not the reason for research. B, 33. Which of the following is not a scientific method of sampling? Which one is it? Thirty-three is. Convenient. Sir, is it convenient? Yes, D as in the convenient. Thirty-four. A reporter took some pictures of the Suvir Hills, Suvir Hills volcanic eruption in 1995 and had also written a letter to his family describing what he saw and experienced. These were preserved and now and are now on display at Montserrat National Museum. A student uses these in his research. These would be examples of? C. C. C, primary research. Sources, correct? A hypothesis is best, best defined as a Which one is the answer, ladies? 35. Um, um, is it the prediction of the Wait, let me read it properly. Um, a prediction of the relation relationship between the variables. Correct. Answer is B, 36. Uh, thank you very much, Richardson. You're welcome, sir. Next, I need someone to volunteer to read 36 to 40. 
quickly, lady. I can read, I can read sir. Go ahead, Pammy Melissa. 36 says, a valid source of secondary information for research in Caribbean studies would be? The answer would be? Textbooks. Textbooks, very good, A. 37. One major advantage of a review of existing literature is that it provides? What it provides? B, background information. Very good, background information. 38. Reliability in research means? What it means? Uh, making accurate reads. It's getting similar results after repeating trials. The answer is A, getting similar results after repeating trials. The answer is A, 39. Chloe presented her data using text and tabulation. This demonstrates a mix of. Which one is it? Qualitative and quantitative approach approaches. B. Very good. B. Which of the which of the following should be considered when identifying a topic for research? One was the problem previously researched. Two is the problem researchable and manageable. Three is the problem an issue of significance to the government. One and, one and two. One and two. A. a. A, one and two. Yes, sir. Is the problem researchable and manageable? One and two. Uh, on the answer sheet, we have one and three. Tomorrow morning, I'll verify this one, all right? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. But I'm not going to go back on the system. I had the one mark. <laughs> May I tell you no problem now? All right, 41 to 45. Next. A, a new person, sir? Yes, a new student. Thank you very much, Blair. No problem. Come, stu come students, we just have five more minutes to wrap up this. I'll read, sir. Go ahead for me. Um, which of the following statements is a hypothesis? Read the statement for me, please. A, examine the causes of obesity in St. John's Village. B, what are the causes of youth violence in Mith Mith M Hope Village? C, to what extent has population affected the village of empty dogs? D, the use of alcohol is responsible for the poor performance of students at St. John's College. Which one is D, it? D, D, sir. E yeah. as in dog. Very good. 42. 42. A series of fights have occurred in a school. An investigation was carried out in which students were interviewed on the cause of the fights. The data would best be presented using A text, B tables, C charts, and D graphs. Which one did you use? A text. Anybody did first? All right, the answer is A, text. 43. 43, a sixth form student is conducting research on the reasons why students are not doing their homework. Which sampling method would be most effective in ensuring that the views of students at all levels are represented? Which one is it? A, random, B, systematic. C convenience and D stratified random. The, uh, so, the would it, so would it be stratified random? Yes. Or, oh, okay. Stratified random. D is the answer. 44. 44. Naomi is conducting research on the topic the effects of the effects of illegal drugs among teenagers in determining whether to use participant observation or questionnaires, Cheyenne's main consideration could be one, reliability, 
two sample size and three ethical issues. Which one is it? I know so that is it. It, so, should, it is all of them, which is B. Although you have shine here, it should be Naomi, Naomi, or shine, shine. I think she was one of the students who was, shine was the, I don't, she's, what was she uh, at the school? Leslie, shine, Leslie. And then you have Naomi, Benjamin. So these are the students that we use. And then you have another one, Sashtana. 45. 45. Sashana wishes to carry out an investigation on the types of food consumed by first form students at high school. She wants an unbiased sample. What type of sampling should she use? Random. Which is Random, which is A. Sarah, Lady? So what's like the main difference between random, is it random and stratified random? All right, you see what, what we're going, what you have to do now is that you will have to go back to the PowerPoint and the slide, uh, the, the recording that, what's the name? Uh, Miss, what's, Miss, McFarlane did that presentation for the common hour. Watch it, watch it, and then we will have a discussion on it. Now, which brings me to the point. This is what I was going to say. You see from here, ladies, in the exam, is it from 30? Is it from 30 go down? A lot of students didn't get a lot of marks from this section. Remember, in the exam, 15 questions is going to come from, uh, from, sure. from the research section. Therefore, it is important that either you sign a textbook and you read on this, because maybe you don't want to go and watch the recordings, or maybe you just don't want to go and do the PowerPoint, but ensure that you find the textbook, the first part of the textbook, the blue one that you have, uh, deals with research. Read it through because 15 questions will come from that. All right? And then who is the student that just did the reading for, for me? Who did it? Sir Francis. Thank you very much, Francis. Now, what we're going to do, the student that asks the question, you see, after you finish, do that reading, then you will have the conversation on it. Because I realize that students have not done any form of uh, the common hour preparation for the, for the paper one. All right, ladies, so we need, go ahead for me. So I was just asking if I could, I, could I give an example of the difference? Well, if you want to help her, you can. Is there something to ask me? Okay, like an example between the random and the certified random. So example, you want to find how many people like read mm -hmm. in the school. You have like the name of the the um the students and you just randomly pick them and those are the people who you will like send out questionnaires so that will be just random and the stratified random is like example you want to find out specifically like a good um a certain amount from each grade level so you say that you're going to um interview or send out questionnaires to 20 of each grade level and then you randomly pick the 20 from each grade level Okay, that helps. Thank you. All right. Ladies, thank you very much, Hunter. Enjoy the rest of the day. See you tomorrow for the students who are not going to be at class. Remember, we're going to still be online. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay, sir. Thank, thank you very Bye, much. Sir. Bye. Sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Sir, I was just saying that I'm present. I wasn't here when you were marking the register, Blair. Yeah, man. No problem. Okay. Bye-bye.
Take care. Same.